I'm really nice to speak to you, come down here. Oh, plenty every night. <coughs> Is that because you've got nowhere else to go? Well, oh, no, there's other places to go, but I mean, it's where the birds hang out, anyway. Um, oh. Do you ever well, go to... women, you know, girls? Yes. Do you ever go to the pictures? Yeah, but, I mean, not many to see the film, you know. Sort of, uh, to pick up a girl, take a girl's pictures. And... Well, as we're on the subject of girls, quite obviously, uh, I'd like to re repeat a remark that Royston Ellis made to me, which surprised me a bit. That uh, no boy here would like to go with a, with a girl who's a virgin, would like to marry a girl who's a virgin. Oh, well, uh, I think I would, because uh, every girl I've been with, I've been a virgin. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> something new, eh? Yes. And uh, being absolutely serious, would you um, respect your wife much more if that was the case? But she was a virgin. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you find the teenagers down here uh, at all sorry that they're not going to do national service? No, I don't think so. But to give you a chance to travel? Yeah, I know you do, but I mean, but a lot of the lads down here in the Merchant Navy and uh, travel all over the place, right, you know? What about you? Have you done that? Yeah, I've been in the Merchant Navy. Yes. Nearly two years in the Merchant Navy. And you enjoy it? Yeah, fabulous. Especially out abroad, I mean, you don't get girls like this, of course, but, you know, you get what you want, all the same. Well, the girls here are better, are they? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. When, uh, when do you hope to get married? When do I hope to get married? Hmm. Never. Never? <laughs> You'll probably uh, right. change your mind. Too. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many young couples break up and everything. You're being serious about this? Yeah, I've seen a lot of young people break up. we are being married, like, mm -hmm. get married about 19, 20. By the time we're about 21, like, the husband might go away with look like, mm -hmm. and the wife would go out with other geezers and so, go around and come home and what that business, yeah. Is this based on personal experience? You sound very cynical. Yeah, well, I've, as I told you, I've seen a lot of myself. I've lived with people and uh, <coughs> same thing my brother, same thing to my sister. Yes, I mean, she's my sister, but she was going to have other geezers while my brother was around. Mm. But uh, maybe you could avoid the situation yourself. No, well, I don't, because I like girls too much. See, if I got my house, probably go out. Testing one, two, three, four. This is the Juliet five transistor tape recorder. It uses three inch reels and is battery operated. It has rim drive tape transport with a pop for speed adjustment. A single rocking motor incorporating a brake drives both reel tables. It's a half track machine and uses a swinging magnet to erase the tape. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing the Juliet reel to reel tape recorder. We're going to take a look at some of the nice features of this tape recorder. The first being the reel table brakes and the record switch, which has a mechanism that stops you from recording over what you've just taped. This piece of white metal here is loosely coupled to the rocking motor and simply lifts up and down creating brakes for the tables. I'll put uh, some reels on and you'll be able to see its effect more clearly. So now with the machine loaded with tape We'll go through the functions again. Rewind, stop, play, stop. A simple mechanism, but it stops the tape from spilling. Nice controlled action. The back tension relies on the weight of the table and the reel of tape. There is no active back tension system. If the machine didn't have brakes, you would have tape spillage, and I'll show you how that would look.
bit of a mess. Simple braking system, but effective and necessary. While we're at this angle, notice this here, which is the swinging magnet erase. This is the swinging magnet. It is half the width of a tape and is used to wipe the previous recording before the head records the new sound. When the machine is set to record, the magnet swings into the path of the tape. Switching to record, the magnet will move into the path and you start your recording. Recording done, stop the machine and you want to rewind the tape. If you were to rewind the tape with the magnet in place, your recording would immediately be erased. This machine avoids that issue by automatically returning to play on rewind. So when I turn to rewind, this will switch back to play and the magnet will swing out of the way. Therefore avoiding erasing your tape.